Hello and welcome to another video. Harry here and today we're going to be escaping the Denelay Escapers Tank 70 litre. I'm really impressed with the aquarium design. I think the curved glass on the front is a really sleek look. It does also come with a base mat already attached to the bottom of the aquarium and it does have a glass like cover lid um, if you do want to use that. However, with the external filter I will be using, it unfortunately will not fit. If you're interested in the uh, equipment that I will be using on this particular build, I shall flash that up on the screen now. I do plan to have CO2 on this aquarium, as I do already have a CO2 system hooked up to the filter through an inline diffuser. However, the LED does not have a timer built into it, so therefore I didn't want to risk having the CO2 on and me not being in the house and gassing the fish out basically. So. I will get a new LED, I'm hoping to get a twin star um, RGB LED uh, for this aquarium which will hopefully make the colours look a lot better on the tank as well as giving the plants everything they need. Unfortunately though every online supplier that I have found they all seem to be sold out of twin star LEDs so I've got a few on waiting list so as soon as I get that notification I will get that ordered, get it on the tank and then we'll see what it looks like in comparison. So let's get on with the build shall we? So in true HW aquascaping style, look how many rocks I've got. This is like probably twice as many as I had for the previous scape. So as I always say, it's always a good bit of advice to whenever you go to an aquascaping store or just a fish shop in general, they'll always have some kind of hardscape area. Uh, just purchase like one rock, one piece of wood, hoard it away. And then when it comes to your next build, you've got a lot of options to choose from because not always what you see in the shop is going to be right in your mind when you get back towards the tank. So it's always good to just keep on adding bits and adding bits. Therefore, you're going to have everything you need to get started, get building, get scaping and make the perfect looking tank. The scape I'm going to try and do today is basically doing um, a similar scape to what a fellow YouTuber by the name of MD Fish Tanks probably I've heard of him more than you've heard of me but uh, basically he did something called the freshwater reef aquarium and that is what I'm hoping to do my own version of today uh, so let's get them in the tank and see how it looks so what I forgot to mention in the previous clip was the particular rock that we're going to be using in the scape it is a uh, grey mountain rock now I'm not entirely sure if that's classed as Sirio stone still but they all look very similar but basically it's just got a really nice strata to it which gives it really nice detailing in the aquarium uh, so what I'm planning on doing is creating like a triangle composition from the back left corner, basically just creating like a wall of rocks uh, just to basically put the soil behind it and then we're going to have some decorative sand in the front so it'll be a really nice contrast so you'll have all the plants hidden in the rocks, allow the fish to basically go in the little nooks and crannies between them and then this wide open space around the outer perimeter where the sand's going to be, um, be great for quarries and the loaches that I've got. So what you can see is what I'm doing at the moment in this clip is basically I'm just trying to find the best fit for the rocks uh, for this outer perimeter uh, sort of like blocking barricade wall. Um, it's basically just making sure that the rocks just fit together as best as possible so that there's not much movement. Uh, that way they'll be able to retain as much of the aqua soil behind them. This way I won't end up with a horrible mix of sand and aqua soil uh, blending together and that way it'll stay nice and white hopefully. Um, basically making a really nice contrast between that, the rocks, and then the aqua soil in the back. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut up and I'm going to leave you to it uh, till we get to the next bit of the clip. So what I'm doing here is an old aquascaping trick where basically you can use filter floss uh, to basically plug any holes between your retaining wall and where your sand is going to be just to basically stop all your aqua soil uh, leaching through and creating a mess basically so basically just compress all these uh, uh, bits of filter floss into the holes and that will stop any aqua soil falling through. So after this step is completed and all the holes are plugged up with filter floss basically now we can start putting the aqua soil in the aquarium. I'm going to be using some of the JBL Pro Flora range of soil as well as some of the shrimp soil that I had left over from the previous bonsai scape.
all the soil is in and as you can see I've just added a few extra rocks in the top of the aquarium just to basically create a bit of height. Uh, it's time to add the sand and the particular brand I'm going to be using is the Unipack sand. Uh, all this is is just white silica sand, it's not quartz based or anything, it's just basically white sand. Um, I just like it because of the grain size, it's really fine sand so I think that will make it look a little bit more like a reef tank. So as with all sands you can rinse them but in all honesty I'm not going to rinse this because I'm not adding much and if it does cloud the water I'll just let the filter basically pull it out before I add the fish in but in all honesty as long as you don't disturb it it should be all okay. <laughs> And now it's time to add some decorative pebbles and rocks basically on top of the sand to create a nice contrast from the sand to the retaining wall that uh, is basically stopping the aqua soil. Basically just creates a nice contrast and blend. Uh, what I have here is some of the I Love Fish decorative rocks from Pets at Home here in the UK and some of the Denale River S 4-8mm uh, to eight millimeter grade. These together create a really nice contrast because they're similar in colour and we'll see what they look like. And there we go guys, the escape is complete, well the hardscape anyway. Uh, plants will be going in in the next video so stay tuned for that. But to quote George Farmer, he always says that um, a hardscape is the skeleton of the aquascape and if you've got a really strong hardscape uh, it just makes the whole thing look more complete when the plants go in and I think I've managed to achieve that. So stay tuned for the next video when all the plants will be going in and please like, subscribe um, and you can leave a comment if you want. I'll uh, definitely try and reply to all the comments I get and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.